Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're gonna be solving a Physics 7C practice problem on the topic of optics. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. So this is the problem that we're gonna be solving today. While preparing to burn Cao Cao's great fleet, uh, General Su orders a layer of oil to be poured atop the waters of the Jiangxi River, as shown in the figure below. After the oil is poured, uh, Sue notices a fish swimming in the water below its fireboat. The path of a ray of light from the fish to Sue is drawn. And the thing that we have to do is basically there's a little angle on the picture and we have to find it. So as you can see, I have my uh, little drawing of the picture. So we have a little fish on water, then we have oil, then we have air. And basically, the entire quiz consists of finding this angle. If we find this angle, then the quiz is complete. Uh, the only equation that we're going to need for this quiz is uh, Snell's law, which is written over here. And basically, the way in which I recommend looking at this quiz is just start from the beginning and then just work your way upwards. So that's what I'm going to do. So focusing on the picture, every single time that you're going to be using a Snell's law, what you want is to draw an imaginary perpendicular line to the uh, interface. So it has to be perpendicular to the interface. So for example, if this is where the interface changes, then you want to draw it perpendicular to this line. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So you want to draw your perpendicular, uh, you know, imaginary line. And then your angles of incidence and your angle of reflection and refraction is the angle that uh, this imaginary line makes with the ray. So for example, even though we have 50 degrees over here that are given to us if i'm going to use snell's law what i want is actually this angle because uh, this angle is the angle from the interface to the ray and that's not the angle that we use on snell's law we use the angle from the imaginary perpendicular line to our uh, ray so this is my incident angle now like i said uh, this uh, this line over here it's perfectly perpendicular to the interface so this is 90 degrees and since this is 90 degrees and this is 50 then that means that my incident ray is actually uh, 40 degrees 40 degrees now again by definition my uh, angle my in this case, refracted angle, because I'm going uh, between surfaces, is this angle over here. A lot of students confuse this and would use this 50 on the equation, but that's not good. You're using this angle in order to find uh, this angle. So now going into Snell's law. And another thing that I should point out is the uh, total internal reflection. In this case, we uh, don't have to worry about it because the ray is already being given to us. So like this is, the, this is the path already and this is refraction. So like nobody is really asking you to draw the ray. Uh, if we were drawing it, then I would, uh, I would see if I need to look for it, which in this case I wouldn't because I'm going from low uh, to high. So I wouldn't even do it in this case, but I just want to address that that's the reason why I'm not concerning myself with total internal ref uh, reflection. It's just because it, it, it's not needed. The ray is already drawn. Like I don't have to draw it like that. That's it. So for the first, interface, my incident angle is equal to 40 degrees. So if I use Snell's law, N1 sine 1 is equal to N2 uh, sine 2, then 
and one I'm gonna be calling it the incident so 1.33 sine of 40 degrees is equal to refracted incidence um, refracted index I'm sorry index sine of angle number two so angle number two this goes dividing and then I have to take the sine inverse so let's see so this would be sine inverse of 1.33 times sine of 40 divided by 1.47 and this is equal to 35.56 degrees. Um, so uh, this angle is equal to 35.56 degrees. And uh, let's see, so this angle, let's see if we can move up because again, I solved this part, but the, the idea is to move up. So what I'm trying to figure out is if I can, you know, maybe complete something over here. So this is 90 degrees. This is 35.56. Uh, so if I draw my second incident line, because you have to do this for every uh, interface change. We have another interface change, so I have to draw it again. So if I draw this line, then we can easily see that um, this angle over here is also 35.56. If you don't believe me, then complete the complete the angle, right? If this is a if this is right, and this is right, then that means that this is. Uh, 90 minus 35.56 it's just it's, this is an introduction problem so let's just do it so this is 54.44 this means that this is 54.44 so that these complement each other to 90 these complement each other to 90 but basically this angle over here which is going to be my incident angle for the second interface is equal to the 35.56 degrees. So let's just go ahead and do our second inf interface. My new incident angle is now 35.56. And you'll find that, you know, what I like to do is just make very sure that I know this is the first interface change. This is the second interface change because every time that you do this, your incident is going to be different. And obviously, if this is the same ray, whatever you had as refracted becomes, um, well, not in terms of the angle, but in terms of the ray, your refracted ray becomes your uh, incident ray. Again, this geometry isn't going to necessarily be the case because these lines are like this. But if you have a problem with like a triangle, like say for example this triangle, the angles are not gonna be the same. So you need to be you need to be mindful of that. You always need to find that angle because you know more likely than not, this is not gonna happen. <clears throat> okay, so this is our new uh, interface change. Usually I would check for total internal uh, reflection, but I don't have to in this case because the ray has already been drawn. And if there's a refracted ray, then obviously we didn't have total internal reflection. So there's no need to do that. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use Snell's law a second time. So N1 sine angle one is equal to N2 sine angle two. Incident, I always like to use it as one. So um, N1 in this case is 1.47. Sine of 35.56 is equal to uh, N2, which is 1, sine of my 
um, second angle, my refracted angle. So my refracted angle is equal to uh, sine inverse of this multiplication, 1.47 times sine of 35.56 divided by oh divided by one so 58 point seven four degrees is our um refracted angle now a lot of students um what they did is they got this answer and they said, oh, okay, so this angle over here, final answer is 58. But again, you have to be mindful of where your uh, perpendicular imaginary line is because the angle that I actually found, the 58, is not this angle, it's this angle. Remember, the angles that you're working with are the angles that start at the imaginary line and go towards the ray. This angle does not meet that criteria. This angle goes from the interface to the ray, which means that it is not this angle, it's the complementary angle. These two have to add up to 90 because the interface and the imaginary line are 90 degrees. That's the definition of the uh, imaginary line that it has to be perpendicular. So the angle that I'm actually trying to find is uh, 90 minus 58.74. So my final answer is, uh, let's see, 90 minus 58.74, 31.26. Final answer. I think that the hardest part about this problem is that a lot of students go into this quiz very confused as to what angles is this equation referring to and they really don't get the concept that every time that you have an interface change you need a new imaginary line uh, and then the angles on Snell's law again it's the angle with the imaginary line the angle should not be touching the interface at all. If your angle is touching the interface, then that's not the angle that goes uh, into Snell's law. So anyways, this is the end of our problem. I hope that you guys found it uh, useful. If you did, uh, please make sure to leave a like. It really helps uh, promote uh, this channel to everybody else. And I will see you guys on the next video.